Hello, Stampers. Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. We had a beautiful day weather-wise here. Steve actually got to go golfing with Jared, so that was super fun. And I am now looking for where I am here. Hang on just a second while I get myself set up on the screen. Not quite sure why I didn't pop right up here. Hmm. There I am. Oh my gosh, I've got 48 of you on here already. Holy cow. <laughs> you guys are flying in. So I had to wait tonight to start my live until Stampin' Up! was done with their presentation. So this week, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have an on tour, which is usually a in-person event that we would attend someplace in the country, right? And due to the quarantine, they are doing it virtually for us from all over the world. Last night, somebody was on from Australia. Tonight, I'm not sure where the gal was from. I'm thinking maybe Canada. I'm not sure. Um, all I know is her name was Marika, and she did a really nice presentation for us. So I had to wait for that to get over because I was watching it, and uh, it was pretty cool. And that's just one of the little benefits you get, whether you're a business builder or a discount shopper. When you um, join my team, you get to attend these in-person events or virtual events. And I'm just so happy that Stampin' Up! is doing this for us because we've got a brand new catalog coming out. And that is one of the funnest events of the year is to go to um, an in live, uh, an, a live Stampin' Up! event. And they teach us some tricks and tips and really great ideas with products out of the new catalog. And like I said, they don't discriminate because whether you are just in it for the discount or whether you want to build a big business and make a career out of it or whether you want to do something in between, they don't care. They love everybody. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, and Debbie says she was from Canada. I thought she had a Canadian, like, uh, I don't know if I'm called French Canadian accent. I'm not real sure. Um, Debbie says, baby Val has gotten big. She is growing like a weed. And I had the pleasure of having her over here today. That was so fun. And I got to feed her and she was awake for quite a while. So that was really nice. It was just, it was cool. And um, I haven't seen her since Sunday. And I told Haley and Jared both, I said, it feels like it's been two weeks since I got to see that baby. So I was pretty happy she came over today. We're doing breakfast on Friday, and then Jared is going to be helping Steve dig out the, whatever you call it, for to pour the concrete. What do you call that? I don't even know. Who cares? <laughs> Man things. Nobody cares. Sorry, men. Sorry, men that are out there listening to this. It's man stuff. I don't care. <laughs> I just want my tiki bar, right? So, um... What else happened today? I have Menasha news. So I thought you guys would be interested in knowing I've been giving you an update on John next door that Steve keeps me informed about. Now, for those of you who may have missed it or are new, John is our next door neighbor. And Steve in the quarantine has taken it upon himself to keep track of John and all of his movements. <laughs> so I did happen to notice John and his wife unloading a canoe from the back of his work truck yesterday. I don't know what that's about. We're not terribly good friends with John. We just say hi in the driveway. They're very, I don't know, they're very, I don't want to be negative, but they're very antisocial. I mean, he's, he's, he's nice. He'll say hi, but I don't even know his wife's name. And we've lived here for over 20 years and our driveway and their driveway are right there. It's very strange. I don't know. Anyways, John got a canoe. I'll keep you updated if he takes it any place. <laughs> And if you guys notice, look behind me. I don't know where I'm pointing because I can't really see myself in real time here. But behind me, the snowflakes gone. I took down the snowflakes and I am wearing one of my spring or summer shirts. Yeah, it's way too big for me, but I really like it because it's comfortable and it's pretty. And so I think that has a lot to do with the fact that our weather is warming up. It is supposed to be like almost 80 early next week. I'm so excited. I'm sure it's because I took the snowflakes down and my wardrobe. Just saying. <laughs> this morning I got up, popped down the stairs. Sometimes I come down the stairs kind of like do 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 do. And other times it's like, Ugh. this morning I was kind of in between and 
And I said, good morning to Steve. And he was pretty funny. He's like, whoa, I thought you'd be really crabby this morning because they're working on our road. And I kid you not, I think they were out there at 6 a.m. right in front of our house. All of our windows upstairs are, sh well, I shouldn't say that. We got some replaced last year, but the windows in my bedroom are shot. Like if you crank them out, I'm sure they're gonna fall right on the ground. Like they're really bad. I'm not exaggerating at all. Pieces have been falling off of them. So it's almost like you have no window there at all. And it sounds like that dump truck is coming right into my bedroom. So I was awakened pretty early and I kind of hid myself under the blankets. And, you know, I think I went back to sleep a little bit, but gosh, girl, get off my street. But I do want my street fixed because it's in pretty bad shape. So anyways, I wanted to let you know, I got a call yesterday from Pauline. Pauline is from Michigan and she is just the sweetest lady. We had the nicest little conversation and, um, she called me to place an order. And I just wanted, I forget to tell people this, that if you're looking to place an order, but you're not too sure about going online and how to do it, and it's just too much for you that you just like, oh, I just can't even deal with that. Totally get it. Um, I'm always happy to place your orders for you. So if you need to place an order, but you don't want to do it by yourself, you'd like me to help or do it for you, please feel free to contact me. Now, with that being said, Leaving a message on here, I do go through and look at the messages, but this is not the best place to leave a message where you want me to get in touch with you. I highly recommend that you email me at kelly at a stamp above.com, or you can private message me on Facebook. Um, all my information is out there. Go over to my blog. You can find me easily there, www.astampabove.com. I'm always happy to help you. If you would you know, like to place an order, I'm happy to help you with whatever you want. But I just thought I'd mention that because I kind of forget about that from time to time. And I'm so glad that Pauline called and she kept saying, I don't want to take up your time. I know you're busy. <laughs> it's like, no, it's fine. It's a nice little break to my day. So who would like an update on how many videos I got done? Done. Yeah, those are coming tonight, maybe, or tomorrow morning. I know I'm such a procrastinator, aren't I? So many things happened today. Like there were so many things I had to get done. And um, we had some training this morning from Stampin' Up, also part of that on tour thing. We did these, um, what do they call them? Breakout sessions, some speed training, like speed dating, only speed training. And it was really fun. We got to be in these breakout groups on Zoom with other um, demonstrators and we got to give um, good tips. And I took two pages of notes. I learned some fabulous things that I'm gonna be able to share with you guys that are going to enhance our stamping experience together. So I'm pretty happy about that. And the other thing I wanted to mention, my buy the doc kit class, I think I was supposed to shut that button off on Saturday. I haven't yet. I just haven't gotten to it. So as long as it's still open, if anybody else wants to order the kit, you will get in under the deadline, which is when I close it, it'll no longer, you won't see it there anymore. You, you won't have a button to order it. But um, I just want to let you know, if you did order it and you have not paid your invoice yet, you need to get that paid because I am going to be putting in my second order for product for that kit. And if you're not paid when I run my report from PayPal, you don't show up on it. So then you won't be getting the kit. I did send out some second reminder invoices earlier today. So if you ordered that kit and you don't remember paying for it, do a search in your emails for the PayPal invoice and um, get that paid so you can get on my list. I hate it when somebody misses out. It just, you know, it makes us all sad, right? It's not a good, not a good thing. So I've got all these people popping up, sending me private messages right now. Oh, you guys, I forgot to put my phone on do not disturb. So if somebody calls me, there may be just like, like a timer, or my screen goes black or something. Don't panic. I will get rid of it like immediately and we should be good to go. So I see a whole bunch of you in here tonight. I am going to do our drawing from yesterday's Facebook Live. I'm super excited because look what I am giving away. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful. This is the Noble Peacock Specialty Designer Series paper. I have a half a pack of it here, which is a lot. Cut to six by six. I did a drawing from everybody that left comments last night. Whether you're watching live now, watching the replay later, or watching later on YouTube, 
please make sure you comment on YouTube or comment here on Facebook because that gets you an entry into a drawing to win fabulous prizes. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the prices right. <laughs> fabulous prizes. So um, the winner from yesterday's drawing is Peggy Cation. Peggy, I think you're on here tonight. Congratulations. I will be dropping this in the mail to you. Peggy is from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And she's actually one of my team members. And it's kind of funny because I think I've had like three team members that have come up winning the drawing. So it always pays to watch, right? Yeah, exactly. Now, um, I also have a card to share with you. And I just thought this card was so pretty. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to flip it over to Zoom so I can actually see what I'm doing here. This card is from Kathy Sheldon. She is one of my very longtime customers. I just adore her. And she said, I had to send you this, this card that I made. I loved making it. I used the stamp, Thoughtful Blooms from Stampin' Up and the Butterfly and Flower Punch. Love that Thoughtful Blooms stamp set. And you did a really great job, Kathy. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. And I love these cards. So maybe we'll be making one of these soon because this is a really cool little layout. Let me set that right up there. And what else do I have to tell you? Tonight, oh, I think I'm gonna flip my screen now. Are you guys ready to flip? So, oh, I have one more thing to tell you. So I actually made a little progress with my webcam. Is it, You can tell that I have taken the fastener off the cord. <laughs> right? Woo, Kelly, going way out there. Um, but I actually, I did hook this up to my computer. I um, got the software downloaded and I can get it to work on my computer. However, I need to talk to Donna, my friend from Australia, because I don't know how to integrate it into the things that I need it to be in. Like I can get it to work on my computer and it's in its own little software thing, but I don't know how to bring it to Zoom or bring it to Facebook. So I made some progress. I got very frustrated. I kind of had a day yesterday where my Facebook Live was the most productive thing I did all day, which was fabulous. I'm not dissing that at all, but I didn't get much else done because I was doing things like this that I never got to finish because I couldn't figure it out. I felt a little deflated yesterday when I went to bed and I don't like that feeling. I don't think any of us do, right? So I just like, oh, Kelly, just go to bed. Tomorrow is a new day. And I woke up this morning with or without the dump trucks. It's a new day. I got to see the baby. I've had a wonderful day and it's going to keep going here tonight with you guys. So <laughs> this is a great way to kind of um, end things tonight with a Facebook live. So I'm going to flip my camera now. Uh, well, I don't actually flip it anymore because I'm on zoom. I'm just going to move over and spotlight my desktop and there we go. Okay, it's looking good. Can everybody see my desktop? I think that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to get a drink. Not an alcoholic beverage, mind you. It's just strawberry lemonade. You know how boring I am. <laughs> okay, so I decided to use the music from the heart stamp set tonight because I had a certain kind of card that I needed to make. And I'm going to tell you guys that I'm feeling pretty good about tonight. I am going, I'm double dipping. And this is what I mean. I have a blog hop that goes live tomorrow that I have not made anything for. And I thought, geez, if I do my Facebook live tonight, I'm not going to have time to do the blog hop projects, make videos, edit, photographs, the whole deal. So what I decided to do is combine you two together. So while I'm doing a Facebook Live right now, I have two different colors of cards in this that I'm gonna make. So when I'm done, I'm gonna make a video for my blog hop. And that's with the one stamp at a time um, blog hop team. I'm gonna make a video using the other color. And then if you would like to see all three of the cards in all three colors, you can check that out on my blog tomorrow. And I'm sure I'll pull it up from my blog into my Facebook page too. But tonight we are going to make a card using Bermuda Bay. And I decided to pull out this gorgeous Noble Peacock paper. Now this has a print on it and this is the Noble Peacock Specialty Designer Series paper, okay? This is foil sheets and this is in Blueberry Bushel, Old Olive and Pretty Peacock. You get two of each of these sheets and I think you get you get two, four of each of, no, oh, let me look. I thought I had it, but I don't. 
Um, 12. Okay, so you get four, eight, 12. You get four of each of these sheets. And here's the other one. Yeah, two of each of these sheets. So this is normally $14.50, but it is retiring. And right now, a pack of this, 12 sheets of it, is only $10.15 in my online store. So I wanted to make sure you know that. Now, along with the Noble Peacock are the Noble Peacock rhinestones. These are beautiful and they are on sale right now for $4.40. So what a deal. These are so, so pretty. I've given a lot of these away as prizes. All right, so here's the card that we're gonna make. Oh, by the way, did I mention my friend Dawn Olszewski designed this stamp set. This was her million dollar stamp set. She is big into music and I thought this was just so appropriate for her. And I still haven't decided when I hit my million and no, we don't have another chain to, to rip off. Haley just said, mom, where are you at in your sales? So I went and looked, we're not there yet. But I don't know what I'm gonna do for a stamp set when I hit my million dollars. I just really don't even know what to say. So I'll have to do some thinking about that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Now, the one thing about the card that I'm making is I'm using Bermuda Bay and this designer series paper, it coordinates with Pretty Peacock, but I'm using Bermuda Bay. So I'm just changing it up a little bit. I've got a piece of two and a half by six of the specialty paper. And I decided that's what I was going to use for my envelope. If my glue will come, there it comes out of the bundle. But don't do this to me now. Okay. Oh, um, Carol says your picture is so clear. Yeah, that's because I'm using Zoom to live stream into Facebook. I couldn't get it to work last night. We had some technical difficulties. And <laughs> yeah, all this online stuff, it is not for the faint at heart. I tell you, it can, it can be quite a challenge sometimes. When things don't go right, we just don't have any recourse. And especially with Facebook, I have a love-hate relationship with them. Um, there's nobody to talk to, nobody to call to say, why isn't this working? Remember when I was in jail all the time? There was nobody to contact and say, why do you keep putting me in jail? You just get put in jail and you just have to take it and deal with it. It's like Facebook is a bully. Did I just say that? Now I'll probably get censored. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, so I'm not very happy with them. All right, isn't that pretty? That's just gonna be beautiful. Okay, now this is my card base, four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it here at five and a half. Just gonna burnish that edge good. Then I have four pieces of the Noble Peacock foil sheets. And I did look to make sure that these were still in the store, both retiring. Um, these are half inch by four, all four of them. I'm just gonna set them over there. I'm gonna set my card base over there. I have a scrap of Bermuda Bay and I'm also using that classic label punch. You guys, I use this punch all the time. Like it's one of my go-tos, especially for small greetings. And I'm gonna use the greeting that says, you rock. I think this is just a perfect sentiment for the card that I'm making. Now I'm gonna slide it down to the left-hand side of my punch because we're gonna clip off that other side. And I can do that right now. And then I've got my mini dimensionals. These are the perfect size for that classic label punch. Set that on there and we're gonna set those aside also. Then what was really cool about this card is I wanted some striped paper. And if you have the Bumblebee specialty paper that was free during celebration, you're in business, you have striped paper, but I, I don't sell that anymore. It's not on the market. And so I wanted to come up with a way to make some striped paper. So I got to dig in around and look for some templates. I don't have any that will work for that. Brought in the classic label punch and I thought, hey, I can make my own stripes. So I just have a scrap of Whisper White paper here. This, by the way, is two and a half by three and a quarter. I don't know that it really matters, but I'm going to put my, my um, punch in here. Hang on. I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to line the top up here so that I know that I'm making a straight punched area. 
Okay, so it's lined up here and I'm punching just like that. Then I'm just going to slide it over a little bit. And again, I want, hang on, I've kind of lost track of it. I want it to be lined up so that I know it's punching straight. No, I think I made this too small. Yep, I did. Let me get a bigger piece. Okay, so you need a bigger piece, <laughs> two and a half by whatever. This is again, just a scrap. So I'm gonna put this in here and I'm lining it up with my punch so that I know that it's straight. And then I'm gonna go in and move it over a little bit. Did I push it too far? I did. Third time's a charm. Uh-oh, what just happened? Hang on. Okay, somebody tried to call me. That's what happens when somebody tries to call me and I'm on and I didn't put my phone on do not disturb. So I'm gonna wait just a second. So you guys come back up. I'm here, hang tight. There we are, okay, we're back. So what happened is somebody called me. I forgot to put my phone on do not disturb and that's what happens. So I apologize for that. I always try to remember to do that. Okay, so I lined it up so it's straight and now I'm gonna move it over a little bit and I'm gonna punch it again, okay? So now we have just two punches here. That shouldn't have been that hard. <laughs> Sometimes some things go better some days than others, right? Okay, next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to stencil with this paper. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? I think I wanna do it this way. Okay, and the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I can see that it's even on the top here. I'm going to grab a dauber and I'm going to add some black stripes. And I thought this was a pretty darn cool way to make my own striped paper. Now, of course, you can make this paper, whoops, these stripes, any color you want it to be with different colors of ink. And you can make it as dark and as intense as you want it to be, but check that out. Now, I'm only doing stripes on the top and the bottom of this layer because that's all that I need. And we're gonna move those up enough that they're not interfering with that top that isn't really punched out all the way. And I just need about an inch and a half of stripe on the top and the bottom. And I'm sorry, I know my, my camera is wiggling around here. There we go. Oh, I kind of messed that up. Let's start over. I don't want to make a mess out of this. Okay, I didn't have any trouble the first time. I'm going to use my template that I started with. <laughs> okay, here we go. And just hold this down. Don't let it move on you. Pretty cool, right? Look at that. And you're just gonna do two stripes at a time. And these don't have to be perfectly spaced. They're whatever you want them to be. You could make them perfectly spaced if you wanted them to be that way. And I just thought this was really neat because there's a lot of times that I want striped paper, but if I don't happen to have any, I can make my own now. And this just came to me tonight. Like I was like, oh, I wish I had striped paper so that I could make this type of card that I wanted. And I thought, well, let's make our own striped paper. Look how cool that is, okay? So now we're gonna do the other end the same way and I'm gonna to try to make these stripes kind of line up. Let me see if I'm in the camera with the stripes down here, but you don't have to get too weird about it. You know, I got a message from somebody today. Somebody sent me an email and, they, and she said, you know, I'm kind of a perfectionist, but hearing me, I said, if you want perfection, buy a Hallmark. That's not what we're about. She said that really stuck with her and she's using it and she feels so much better about her stamping because she realizes that it doesn't have to be perfect. We are human and these are homemade. So just keep that in mind. Don't be too hard on yourself. If you want some perfection, go buy a Hallmark, but this is a lot more fun and a lot more expensive. <laughs> Who are we trying to kid? 
<laughs> oh, I'll make my own cards. I'll save money. Whatever, sister. <laughs> That's not fun. Okay, here we go. Check that out. Like, isn't that cool? Oh, I might want one more little stripe, right? No, maybe not. I'll leave it. Okay, so this is going to cover that. So all I've got is stripes here and here. So wait till you see what I do this. I, I, whoops, I do need my ink. I think this is really cool. All right. I am using the whatever, what is this thing called? Uh, oh, it's some type of a musical thing. I don't know what it's called, but I'm using that thing and then the guitar handle. And this is pretty cool. I am going to, somebody's going to tell me what that is. There's quite a delay from you guys commenting and me talking. So just so you know, it's, that's why it's always delayed if I'm answering between Zoom and Facebook Live. It's a little tricky. Okay, so now I have to look at my card to make sure I'm doing this right. Yep. Okay, so when you stamp this, you want this side of your, um, whatever this little deal is called, treble clef. I was going to say that, but then I thought I was wrong. Um, this side is going to be straight up and down. So I'll show you what I mean here. I'm going to do this. See how that's, that's kind of crooked. This would be straight, but now it's a little crooked. And then you bring in that guitar handle. And I love that these are photopolymers so you can see through them. Let me stand up. And now you're going to stamp that guitar. And that's how it goes. Now I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going to, whoops, I don't need to ink that up. I always do the treble clef thing first, treble, whatever. It's, yeah, you guys help me out. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Oh, let me think about this. Yep, I think I cut this wrong. So I did. I'm going to have to trim it down. I'll give you the new measurement too. When I first made the card, I made it four by four, but then I trimmed it and it looked better. So, and then. I'm just watching that I'm connecting here and here with this guitar. And then, whoops, I'm gonna do one more over here. And make it match. There we go. And that covers up that little bit of black that I got there. Again, not perfect, right? And then here comes our guitar handle. Look at that, isn't that cool? Okay, now I'm gonna bring in my little trimmer here. And we'll see how far we're going to trim this off. Oh, yeah, I remember now I trimmed it to three and a half. So that's three, one, two. Yep, three and a half by four. Okay, so three and a half by four. Completely forgot about that. And now I want to make this match. So I'm going to bring in my um, blends. And I don't know for sure which color of blend I want to use. So I'm just going to test it out here and see which one is going to make me happiest. That's the dark. This is the light. And I think I'm going to go with the dark here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color in the little heart on the inside of my guitar. I was just going to ask you guys, how am I doing? Is everything still working right? You know, it's been a lot of frustration in the last few days. And I want to thank you guys for hanging in there with me and not going, oh, I can't deal with this and all her problems. I really appreciate it because that's always kind of a thought like, oh, who's going to put up with this day after day when things aren't working right? So I really appreciate you guys sticking in there with me. Okay. Then once I had this done, I thought, well, wouldn't it look cool to do a little wink of Stella? Because like, well, why not? And I'm just going to put that on the hearts on my guitar. There we go. And a little bit of color sometimes will come off on your Wink of Stella brush. Just wipe it off like that. And now we're going to bring in these beautiful foil strips. Remember, these were half inch by four. And we're going to glue those on each end here. And this is just the way that I choose to do it because I can kind of hold it down and make sure that I'm getting it even all the way across. Okay. And then a little strip of glue right here. There we go. And now we're gonna take that and put it on our striped layer. Oh, look at how crooked that is. Hang on, it moved. Oh, that's not good. Whoops. Yep, that didn't work. 
We're going to do a different one. I don't want this to be all mucked up. I have to take photos and post this yet. Okay, so here we go. I got lots of foil paper. I hate it when you waste something like that, though, don't you? You're just cringing, aren't you? You're going, oh, that was a half a strip of foil paper. <laughs> At least that's the way I always feel about it. It's like the biggest deal, right? How can that happen? Okay, you gotta let it dry a little faster before you start moving it around. And now I'm just going to bring this in and add it to the front of my striped layer. Cool, right? And then we're gonna bring that in and add it to our Bermuda Bay hard base, just like this. Then the other thing I wanted to do, I have another piece of whisper white here and I need to grab another little strip because I just threw that one away. I'm gonna grab another strip of my Bermuda paper. Isn't this just all so pretty? It's just so, so pretty, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna cut, oh shoot, how do I cut a half an inch on here? That's a little tricky. This is more for slicing things, not for absolutely measuring. That'll work. Perfect. This is gonna be the inside of my card because I don't know who I'm gonna send this to. I can send it to anybody. So I'm gonna leave it pretty generic, but I do wanna decorate the inside. So I thought these little strips would be perfect. I'm gonna add one there and add one here. Oops, a little bit of glue on there. Work really hard not to get glue on the front of foil paper. It just doesn't come off very well. I think I could probably use a glue eraser and get it off once it's dry, but you wanna keep your fingers clean when you're working with foil paper because it's shiny, right? Okay, here's our card. Let me close this before we have like a living disaster. And are the foils retiring too? Wendy wants to know. Wendy, I believe that both of these are retiring. This one happens to be on sale right now for $10.15. Normally $14.50 for a pack and you get 12 sheets. This one is, I don't think this one is on sale, but the Noble Peacock rhinestones that go along with all of this, they're on sale for $4.40 too. So Lots of sales stuff. Now, if you go out to my online store, you'll find my host code right here. If your order is under $150. And if it's over $150, don't use that code. You're going to get rewards from Stampin' Up. I want you to have those. But when you go to my online store, you can just type in there, Noble, N-O-B-L-E. And every single time I type that word, I type it E-L and I have to retype it every single time. I also have a problem with the word rectangle. I know it's R-E-C-T, right? Every single time I type it R-E-T and have to redo it. I just do not understand. Okay, here comes my you rock. This is just going to be my little sentiment on the front. And I am going to just put that right up here. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that cute? And then we have our matching envelope. Here's the inside of our card looking spectacular. What do you guys think of that? Oil paper with the Bermuda Bay. I wasn't real sure about it, but then I thought, I think that's going to be fine. I really do. Now, if this bothers you that this is upside down, you could put it right side up, right? Here is my granny apple green. Now, this is old olive, okay? This matches old olive. That's what it tells us it coordinates with, but I actually paired it with granny apple green to make it a lot brighter. And I didn't put this Linka Stella in my hearts here was a last minute thought. So I'm going to add that. And then as I'm looking at this, you know what else I would think would be cool on here? Hang tight while I grab a black marker. Let's do a little flicking because that's fun. There we go. Look at that. That, I think that does it for me. Like that is very cool. You should do that before you put your layers together, but whatever. Look at how cool that is. Do you like that? I think that's pretty neat. So make yourself a template with your classic label punch. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend it. You guys have seen me use it just so many times. And I love punches because they're quick and easy. 
And then Music from the Heart is also retiring. Don't forget to click on share to share my video. If you're out on YouTube, you can also share it out there. That really does help me out. I really appreciate it. I also appreciate any orders you might be sending my way. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd be happy to be your person. I'll take really good care of you, I promise. <laughs> it's kind of what I do. And here is our music from the heart. Now, I want to ask you guys, did I miss any questions tonight? The other thing I wanted to mention while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to be using the blueberry bushel and making a card for my blog hop tomorrow. As soon as we're done here, I'll do a video and make a card for that. I'll have all the pictures on my blog tomorrow morning. I think that blog hop goes home, goes live at 5 30 AM central time. Don't worry. I will not be up. <laughs> Let's just make that perfectly clear. I will still be sleeping, but I will schedule it to go live at 5.30 in the morning. I'm gonna flip you guys around again. Yay! So I can see you. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a fun blog hop. The, the theme is masculine cards. So those are always, um, some people find them really challenging. I love making man cards. And I think that you could use this for a man or a woman, but it does kind of have a masculine touch to it. Don't what you think? I think it does. The other thing that you could do is you could stamp some of these other little um, music -y symbols. Can you tell that I have like not a musical bone in my body? I am a complete rock star. Look at, I'm talking to my other camera. I am a complete rock star in the shower and my car. But other than that, not so much. <laughs> but we have all of these little musical images that we could be using to um, decorate up and fill in any of the white space. I don't know. I kind of like it being rather um, clean and simple, kind of cool. I don't know what happened here. Oh, there we go. I don't know, for some reason, my screen just kind of froze up. Okay, there I am. I'm like, am I still even on? I see you guys commenting. So Mary Lynn says I'm better than Dr. Phil. Thank you, Mary Lynn. I appreciate that because I do kind of like Dr. Phil. <laughs> I like his common sense, no nonsense attitude, right? He wasn't born yesterday. That's kind of the way I feel. So anyways, from the music from the heart, very, very nice set. I love this. Um, I made some other cards with it. And probably the best way to find those is to go to Pinterest. And you can go to my Pinterest boards. And um, I have some music from the heart. I also like that when I hold this up to my screen, like you guys are on my laptop right now, it's not backwards, right? Yeah, so Facebook can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, my love-hate relationship with Facebook is my own problem. So any questions? Are you guys having a good day? I'm, uh, like I said, I had a pretty good day. My crown is falling off, but other than that, <laughs> we had a good time here in Menasha. I think I'm going to have a long night tonight, so I'll be sleeping in in the morning. That's always nice. I like to sleep in. Who sleeps in? Is there anybody else that sleeps in? Give, give me a thumbs up for the sleeping in. Yeah, us night owls. I know, it's crazy. All right, Bonnie just came in. She says, hi, Kelly, I'll watch the replay. Oh, you know what? Debbie said it'd make a great graduation card. It certainly would. This would be absolutely adorable, right? I think that would be really a good graduation card. And it's kind of nice because you don't need graduation stamps to make a graduation card. You don't need baby stamps to make a baby card. One more thing. I hope you're watching. I cannot for the life of me remember who sent the um, new baby survival kit to Haley, but it was a basket filled with all kinds of stuff. It had a bunch of socks in there for her, and it had a whole little chart of lifesavers to save your life and different little funny little things. But whoever it was, they made a whole bunch of burp rags out of um, flannel material. I just wanted to tell you that Haley and Jared, those are their favorite burp rags. They are using them multiple times, multiple rags daily. That was so sweet of you. Thank you so much for doing that because they're really getting a lot of good use out of them. So if you guys need a good gift to give to a new mom, 
Um, what she did was she took, and they're about this big, they're, they're um, flannel and they're like baby prints. So she put two pieces of flannel together and just zigzagged around the outside edge, maybe with a serger, I think with a serger. And they are fantastic. They're washing up so nice. And um, like I said, Haley and Jared absolutely love them. Sorry, I'm playing with my necklace because it's feeling weird. Oh, Nancy says, your Facebook problems are our Facebook problems as well. They need to address these problems before Zoom takes a lot of their business. Yeah. You know, the bad part, Nancy, is that there's no other platform like Facebook. Like, you guys are all on Facebook, but you're not all on other things. And that makes it rough because they kind of have a monopoly. And like I said, when I was getting thrown in jail earlier this year, late last year, when I was getting thrown in Facebook jail all the time, there's no recourse. Like they were, that situation was really hampering my ability to conduct my business because platform, this platform is so big for me. So, so Chris says, Kelly, how did you get Zoom set up with Facebook to do live videos? I really want to know how to do that. Well, Joe, when you um, go on to into Zoom, if you hover your little cursor over the screen, a little menu comes up on the bottom. In the bottom right is something that says more. And when you click on more, it gives me the opportunity to Zoom live to Facebook or Zoom live to YouTube. And I just click on Zoom live to Facebook, go to that page, put a title in and click go live. That's it. It's easy. It's really easy. Lisa says she loves YouTube. I know. Um, I, it took me a while to get authorized to, to stream live on YouTube. I am now authorized by YouTube to do that because there were some steps I had to take to make it happen. I just did that like in the last few days. And that's another whole animal, Lisa, to learn how to do that because you have to have somebody also monitoring your, your YouTube live because trolls come in and they leave all kinds of very obscene comments in with everybody else's comments. It's just a whole crazy thing. Like people need to get a life. And of course they're all sitting at home right now and they have no life. So yeah. Um, Pat says she didn't receive notification that I was on. That's interesting. Did anybody else receive notification that I was coming on besides the post that I said where I posted and said I was coming on live? Did anybody else? Did it, did I pop up saying that I was live? Because I noticed I've got a lot fewer people watching me tonight than I usually do. And Cynthia says she doesn't understand YouTube. I know, I know. Um, hmm. Somebody just said we're only 16 minutes into your video. Thought I was on the bike for half an hour. <laughs> Marsha. That's funny. <laughs> well, I've been on longer than 16 minutes. So I think you've probably ridden for at least an hour and a half, girlfriend. You're doing great. <laughs> Helen wants to blow up the trolls. I would like to blow up the trolls too. We had a troll today on our Stampin' Up, or maybe it was earlier today on our Stampin' Up presentation. There was like, oh, and that's the other thing. So Stampin' Up is doing this on tour thing where they're doing Facebook Lives. 2,500 people watching the Facebook Live with all the emojis floating and nothing was locking up or happening. So that is not what's creating that problem. And again, I just really think it is an overload on our internet servers worldwide, probably. That's causing the problem. So <laughs> yeah, Faith said 42 minutes or an hour and a half, Faith. She's been on that bike for a long time. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Melanie says she got the notification. Okay. I didn't know if like when I go live using Zoom to get into Facebook, if it actually sends out the notification, I wasn't really sure. So I'm glad, glad to see that. I'm just looking at your comments here. And Carla got one too, that I was on um, live. Okay. You guys, how can we watch those? How can you watch what? YouTube lives? What's going to happen if I do YouTube lives? I'm going to post on this Facebook page where you find me that I am going live on YouTube at five o'clock and you're just gonna click on that and it's gonna take you right there. Yeah. And um, it's a nice thing too, because it's just like this, only you're on YouTube. 
So it, it's going to work. <laughs> Marcia, no wonder my legs are wobbly. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go so I can make this next video using the blueberry bushel for this card and get that video done and uploaded my blog post done so that I don't have to feel like a loser by not participating. We do have an option to sit, to bow out of the blog hop, but I, this is a, I just choose not to. <laughs> that's for me, it's kind of like, oh, that's kind of a little failure. I don't like that. <laughs> Step it up, Kelly, right? Okay. Have a great night. I will see you guys back here tomorrow. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye. And maybe I don't know how to make it stop. No, I do. Okay. Good night, everybody. <laughs>